Hi everyone, Mike here from Bikes by Mike with another cycling related video. So I'm back in the garage to talk to you about pumps. I have my Cannondale scalpel mounted on my bike rack so I can show off my newest purchase, the Bump Up Pump. Okay, let's get to it. So before I get on to my review of the Bump Up Pump, let me tell you why I decided to buy a new pump in the first place. So after completing the Oak Route Pyrenees race last year and having signed up for the Oak Route Dolomites this year, which starts in just one week, just less than a week, I knew that I wanted to travel more lightly next time around. And there were two things that I knew I could save a lot of weight on if I just bought the proper tools for the job. So the first is a torque wrench. I had a shock torque wrench, which works very well that I was traveling with, but it was super heavy, probably at least two kilograms, maybe even a bit more. And the other item was a travel floor pump. Kind of like this. Not really. This is a full size, uh, this is a full size uh, floor pump by Silka. Uh, I had a smaller version that I was traveling with that was still pretty heavy. So uh, I imagine the Silica one is over three kilos. The one I was traveling with, I'm pretty sure it was at least two kilograms. So uh, right there, I knew I could probably save three or four kilograms just going by something, tools that are more compact that are lighter to travel with. The first one I replaced earlier this year, which was to buy the Topeak Torque Bar. And if you haven't watched that video, check that out in the link below. The second thing was to replace the floor pump with something more compact. Most people go with a white pump or some type of manual pump that's just more compact. And I've tried that in the past, but I just find that manual pumps just take too much effort and too slow to fill a tire. So I looked at some better options and the uh, battery operated compressor types are the ones I like the most and that's why I started looking at the FUMPA pump. So let's take a look at that. So FUMPA has three pumps in their lineup. This is the FUMPA pump. They have the mini FUMPA as well as the smallest, the nano FUMPA. Um, I really want something that I know is not going to run out of battery charge midway through pumping a tire. And the FUMPA pump is still, in terms of travel, um, is still plenty small. The other two, um, certainly the Nano Fumpa is something you can carry on your bike. And uh, the Mini Fumpa as well is something that probably for bike packers would fit on the bike, but otherwise is a bit large. So this kind of hit the sweet spot for me for something that's powerful enough that I don't have to worry about the battery charge, but still compact enough that I can easily travel with. So now a few key stats on the Fumpa pump. It retails for $149 US. I think I picked it up in Canada for around $250, but that was the version like this, which comes with the extension nozzle. It has a digital pressure gauge and digital battery life indicator, and also comes with the type C charging port, which is really nice. And you're seeing that on more electronic devices. It allows for simply a faster charge. So kudos to FOPA for integrating that into this pump. There are a few subtle differences between the various FOPA pumps, but the main one is simply the amount of battery life you get out of them and the number of tires you can charge with them. So with the FOPA pump, they advertise that you can get up to six tire inflations out of it. My experience so far is that I took the max out at about four. Still really good, but I haven't been able to stretch it out to six. The other two pumps uh, charge anywhere from one to two tires on a single charge. So let me show you how this great pump works. So the first thing you do is you slide on the on off switch. It'll come up with BAT for battery and the battery, the amount of battery charge left in the unit will flash on. After that, it'll zero out and it's ready to inflate. So now that's on, I'm ready to put it on to the nozzle of my bike. So slide it on and push the button on the top until it's inflated to the desired pressure. Okay. 
And that's it. Pull the nozzle off and you're basically done. Good pro tip I have that not many people do, but I think it's useful for any time you're inflating your tire, whether you're using a floor pump, a FUMPA, a CO2, whatever. I like to over inflate the tire and then bleed off some air to get it to the exact pressure by measuring it with a digital tire pressure gauge. I find that depending on what you're using, um, one, the gauges might not be that accurate, and two, you lose air often a bit more when you remove the pump from the valve of your uh, tire or tubeless uh, valve. So I find it easier just to get more accurate final reading of pressure in the tire is to do it that way. So what's the verdict? What do I think of the FUMPA pump? So I've used it already on two trips this year and Oak Root Dolomites will be my third. And I really do like it. It uh, has worked flawlessly. Uh, I'm happy with the charge. As I mentioned before, I'm not getting six tires out of it, but certainly getting four. And that's more than what I need since it's such a quick charge. And that's the other thing I love about it is the fact that it's a USB-C charger. So I can go from empty to fully charged in I'm thinking about an hour or under an hour. So super fast. And the pressure gauge I have measured against a quite accurate digital tire pressure gauge, and it's spot on. So good compact unit that just makes a lot of sense from my perspective to replace uh, a, a travel pump or a floor pump. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe so I can produce more content for all of you. See you next time. Happy rolling.